So, you want to make a cool uh, thing that animates itself. Best intro ever, honestly. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at what I just said, pretty much, I'm going to do something that's pretty cool. Um, I actually got this inspiration from the Hitman 3 logo, actually, if I'm being completely honest with you. I saw that, and I was like, you know what, that would be really cool if it was animated. So, we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'm going to go ahead and just drag a camera. Dra drag a camera. Wow, guys. Wow. Uh, drag a box over top of all of these except for the camera. Hit delete. Uh, I'm just clicking drag for the box, by the way. Uh, select our camera. Left click and then hit Alt G to clear location and Alt R to clear rotation. Then hit RX and then 90 on your numpad and left click to confirm that. Hit G Y to move the camera backwards like that. Hit zero to go into the camera's view. Hit Shift A to search for a uh, mesh plane and then hit RX 90 on your numpad and then left click to confirm that. Here we can hit S to scale this down so it's not as big. Um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, hit Shift A and we're going to search for text and then hit RX 90. Left click to confirm that. G Y to move this up ahead of the um, the plane a little bit just so it's not like on the same axis so it's not like doing this weird glitching thing like that. Now with the text, I'm going to hit Tab and then delete everything. And then I'm going to hold down shift and, and put in three capital I's like that. Um, you can put anything you want in this. Obviously, you can put a logo in this. I'm just I'm just saying like yeah, I'm doing the three I's because I think it looks really cool. Um, so we go ahead and, and uh, go to the materials tab here. And first thing we're going to do is hit new. And I'm going to make this material solid black. And then with the square, I'm going to make this one red. So we're going to hit this little button right here and select material. And we're going to make this one red. All right. I'm going to call this one blue. Name of that's going to be blue. And the name of this one, uh, this black material, we're going to call this one um, none other than orange. Of course, what else is going to be called? Um, we're going to go to the uh, the text tab here and go down to uh, ba -da -ba -da, uh, paragraph alignment and change it from horizontal left to horizontal center. And then we're going to go ahead and do um, the same thing, but with the Y. So we're going to put the Y in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to geometry and change the offset a little bit so they're a little bit thicker. Like that, which looks good, nice and thick. There we go. Love to see it. All right, now with our material tab selected, you can see now that we have this looking really good. Uh, what I want to do though is actually I'm gonna I forgot to change these to emission uh, shader. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and actually um, grab the hex of this this red color and then hit Control C to copy that. And then we're gonna go ahead and go and change it from surface to emission. There we go. And then change the color back. Control V to paste and then hit enter to confirm there we go cool now the same thing with the black color we don't need to copy anything because it's just black so we'll just go to mission and then just make it solid black all right cool so now i want these to be a mission so it's like you know the, the same thing but anyway all right uh next i want to go ahead and go to the world tab here and change the color uh from this gray to black so now if we go to render viewport shade you can see that we now have a fully black scene with the um red in the center and then the black uh, letters, but I want to do one more thing because this is not the proper colors because blenders default color mode is set to filmic I want to change this to standard. So now that is actually the red color that we selected I'm gonna actually change that red color a little bit Had a little bit of pink in there desaturated a little bit. There we go. It looks much better. All right, cool Now uh, what I want to do after this is I'm gonna go ahead and animate this which is the fun part So let's go ahead and change the start frame to zero and then we go to this main tab up here and then we'll go ahead and actually i'm sorry not, not this tab not the main tab this tab right here the scene tab and then change the frame rate to 60 get that nice smooth silky buttery stuff you know what i mean uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go to uh da, 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 the first frame so we're gonna we're we'll gonna zero now um i want to have the letters come in so i'm going to on frame 10 uh hit i location with the letters selected by the way not with that selected with the letters selected the i um, the eyes. There we go. Hit. Uh, but, 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 uh, let me actually undo so I can see better. Let me actually make the 3D cursor go away. You can see easier. And I'm also going to make the origin go away as well. All right, cool. Um, hit I, location. And then on the zero frame, uh, hit G, Z, and then just move it down off of the, off of the plane like this, right? Um, and then hit I, location. Now because this is black, you won't be able to see it. But if you're trying to make this transparent, I'll, I'll do something for that in a second. So let's go ahead and actually uh, play this now so you can see what it does. You see it just comes up in like that, which looks really cool. But I want it to smooth in. So on frame, let's do 40. 
I'm going to select our uh, text, hit I, location, and then change the on on the frame 10. I'm going to hit, I'm going to move it down slightly. So G Z, and this move is down just a little tiny bit, and then hit I, uh, location. All right, then we're going to go ahead and uh, hit play. I can see it kind of smooths into it, which looks nice, right? That looks good. Um, so what I want to do after that is while this is rotating in, I want the cube to rotate, the, the, the plane, the square to rotate. So I'm going to hit uh, I, rotation, and then on frame 10, we'll hit R, Y, 90, and then hit I, rotation. And then on frame uh, 50, instead of 40, we'll hit I, rotation like we did before now we need to go ahead and smooth this so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that it doesn't fully rotate all the way around so hit r y put it about right there i suppose then hit i rotation and then we have something like this which looks really good right so it kind of animates that spins around the text comes in i'm also going to go ahead and go to the main tab and turn off viewport denoising so we can see a little bit easier there we go everything's crisp so it comes in like that which looks really good um the thing is i want it to stay before the eyes go away a little bit. Plus, I want to do something else pretty cool with them. So, with the eyes selected, I'm gonna go ahead and go to maybe frame 50, hit uh, I rotation, go to frame 60, uh, hit uh, R, Y, 90, I rotation, you get the idea. Go to frame 100, I rotation, go back to the second frame, and then make sure it doesn't switch, uh, rotate all the way like that. So now we have something that looks like this, which looks cool. So it comes in, then rotates as I'm looking for. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. But if, like I said, it, this only works if the background's black. So if you want it to actually be a color or transparent, as you can see, you can see the black leaving and coming, which is an issue. So to fix that, I'm going to go ahead and go to, first of all, film, transparent, check that. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to render viewport change. So you can see this is not transparent. You can still see the black, which is not fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do one uh, one thing. Hit Shift A, Mesh Plane, RX 90, and then we're gonna move it up, move, and then hit uh, G Y to make sure it's above everything, above all the things that we have here. Go back to the camera's view by hitting zero, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and, and get this as close as is possible to the um, hit G Z and get this as close as is possible to the edge of the red square. All right, so we do this, we do this with both sides. I'm gonna hit Shift D and duplicate this, and we're gonna move it down here. The same exact thing, we're gonna zoom in all the way, hit G, Z, and move it up like that. But the thing is, I actually wanna move, um, well, let's select, let's, let's select both of these first. So select both of these big planes we just made, go to the material tab, hit new, change the surface from principal BSDF to holdout, and then make sure the other one is also that as well. So uh, click that and just put the holdout there. So now when it leaves, it, it, it doesn't do that. But the issue is, is you see when, when the cube rotates, it cuts it off because, you know, obviously. Um, so the way we fix that is we're going to go ahead and actually make it not be there when this happens. But the issue is, is that the um, you can see the letters are on the outside of the cube, which is not something that I want. So we're going to actually move this rotation to when the letters are out of frame at the end which is much much better uh because it won't be like over top of it so let's go ahead and do that real quick i'm gonna grab the cube and then we're gonna move um this rotation hit g and then we're gonna move all of it to frame 160. so right when that comes out of frame it will rotate and then and then it will loop which is much better because the letters are still all inside the red and they're never going outside which is much better now all we have to do is just grab the um the overlays for the holdout shader to make everything clear and then uh, move them down on frame 160 so I'll, i hit i location and then on frame 161 i'm gonna hit g z and then move them way down here so if you can see what i just did i just moved it down g z move it down i location and we do the same thing with this one up here so select this so we're gonna go ahead and actually make sure that this is higher up when it finishes so it goes off of screen on 160 so on 161, uh, I'm going to move this uh, 80 frame to 160, right this. I'm going to hit I location and then move one frame over. G, Z, move it up in, uh, underneath the holdout shader. I location. And now you can see we have a flawless animation where you cannot see anything underneath. But yeah, that's that. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.